This quarter, I see compelling signs of Tesla evolving into an AI and energy company. Tesla does make most of its money today by selling cars, but it no longer requires an in-depth and qualitative analysis to see that the company is evolving into something much bigger. Here are the three key data points from Q1 2024, which suggest that indeed Tesla is evolving into an AI and energy company. Let's go. One, full self-driving version 12 has been pushed out to more than 1.8 million cars on the road, with over 50% of them using the feature and growing according to management. In the words of Elon Musk, FSD V12 is quote-unquote pure AI-based self-driving. And if you don't believe this, check out the video by a whole Mars blog that you can see on the screen now in which you can literally see this car driving by itself. And it's very interesting to see in this video how the car even predicts things before a human could. So it's, it's doing things like looking at people walking around on the street, potential accidents and stuff like that. And if you watch the whole video, you'll gain a sense of how the car is even better than a human at navigating this relatively dangerous landscape. Additionally, FSD costs $99 per month. This means that Tesla is now making 0.5 times 1.8 million times 99. It's actually making $89 million per month. And annually, annually this means Tesla is now making around 1.069 billion from autonomy per year. Someone on Twitter said that Actually, these 50% of people that are using FSD that management talked about during the call are on a free trial. I'm not totally sure about that. Management didn't say anything. But anyway, the point remains that this business is set to become quite an interesting revenue generator for Tesla as if, if indeed people are on a free trial, as they indeed do opt in to paying for this service, because I think they will. Again, go and check out the video. It's incredible how the car drives by itself. I actually have a road trip coming up after recording this video. I would 100% pay $99 just for the trip today. So I think this is going to be a great business with Tesla if it isn't already, which definitely management didn't quite make it clear during the call. Two, the energy business has achieved record profitability and gross margins, with the latter coming in at 24.6%. Energy gross margin is actually up 11% year over year, which points to a structurally favorable evolution in the business although total energy storage deployments have not increased significantly since Q1 2023. Notice in the graph below how the evolution of margins coincides with the rapid manufacturing efficiency increases Tesla has undergone over the past year, which I pointed out in the Q4 2023 earnings digest. So part of my thesis is that as Tesla gets better at manufacturing, they'll get better at energy. And I pointed out in my last digest, which you can go and check out on my YouTube channel or on my Substack, or you can go and see my posts on X. What was happening there is that their manufacturing efficiency was getting much better as, as shown by a number of metrics that I used to be able to tell that, namely free cash flow divided by operating margin, which actually was going up really, really fast. And so it's interesting to see how the gross margins are going up, the total energy storage deployments are, growing, are going up as that metric continues to get better. So I recommend go and check out that update. Now, here's what Elon said about the energy business during the Q1 2024 call. The mega pack in particular reached an all-time high in Q1, leading to record profitability for the energy business. And that, that looks likely to continue to increase uh, in the quarters and years ahead. It, it will increase. We actually know that it will. Significantly faster than the, the car business, uh, as we expected. I expect it to grow really fast too. And it's interesting how, and I, I talked about this in the last pod with Haley, um, in 2021, Tesla stock went up tenfold as the company emerged from what Elon Musk called production hell. So when they, got fo when they focused on making manufacturing much better to bring the Model 3 to life, and that's what ultimately allowed the company to print much more cash flow uh, and free cash flow, and that sent the stock up. Now the company, in my view, is doing the same but with energy and AI. And you can see not only the numbers starting to rear their head in this quarter, but you see management's qualitative takes on this and saying how they expect the energy business, for instance, to grow much faster than the car business. I think this is happening. I think that over the next two years, we're going to see the market start to price this in. Three, Tesla's AI infrastructure goes through another inflection point. In absolute terms, both cumulative miles driven with FSD and total AI training capacity have gone through another, an additional inflection point. 
as you can see in the graphs below. Per every additional inflection point, Tesla's AI infrastructure gets exponentially harder to replicate. In my view, this is actually yielding a moat equivalent to that of Google search in its strength. The fact that Tesla has pushed out real-world AI effectively to 1.8 million cars on the road is indicative of an evolutionary step change. Tesla is the only company on Earth with the adequate infrastructure to perform this feat and by a wide margin. As Tesla continues to put more cars on the road, 7 million by the end of this year in total, according to Musk, the chances that any other OEM can compete on the, a on the AI front are actually quite slim. AI fundamentally changes the nature of cars, effectively turning them into considerably more productive assets because they can go on and do stuff on their own that you would have to do personally. AI is a set to turn cars into highly monetizable assets for their owners and by extension for Tesla because they can just keep them for the company and have them do stuff and rent them out instead of selling them directly to people. While Tesla sells FSD for $99 per month, the average revenue per car can be orders of magnitude above that as they get smarter. As Tesla continues to decrease the cost of manufacturing cars, the spread between the cost and the revenue generated per car will continue to increase. Over the coming decade, if indeed Tesla is the only or one of the few companies on earth with the necessary infrastructure in order for this to happen, this dynamic should heftily increase free cash flow per share levels over the long term. And as you know, if you've been watching my content for some time, that is the single metric that ultimately stock prices track over the long term. So if free cash flow per share goes up tenfold, likely so will the stock eventually. Now, the bad news for the quarter is that actually the financials are disappointing. But in my view, gr lower gross margins are actually good. And I'll explain why. Electric vehicle adoption is under pressure worldwide which is leading to lower sales and adding to the widespread pessimism about Tesla. Additionally, in Q1 2024, Tesla saw some disruptions in its deliveries, which has led to an accumulation in inventories. As a result, all key financial metrics are considerably worse than during the same period last year, as you can see in the graph below. As you can see in the graph, free cash flow came in at negative $2.5 billion in the quarter, allegedly as a result of the aforementioned disruption. During Q1, Houthi militia attacks on shippers in the Red Sea disrupted Tesla's component supply and temporarily suspended production at its German factory outside of Berlin in January. Additionally, environmental activists allegedly set fire to infrastructure near the same factory in March, depriving Tesla of sufficient operation power and causing a pause in production. Tesla's car business makes money as a result of selling cars for more than they cost to make and doing so at scale. With Tesla's manufacturing scale and efficiency demonstrably increasing, the state of the financials going forward will be dictated by whether electric vehicle adoption continues to trend up or not. My view is that it will so long as they are more convenient and affordable than their combustion analogs. Tesla's most misunderstood financial metric is the auto gross margins in that most investors see a decline in this metric as a bad thing. However, I see it as a good thing. In the graph below, you can see how pronounced the decline has been since Q1 2022. However, Tesla's core philosophy is continuously increasing efficiency in order to pass it back to consumers, predominantly in the form of lower prices. Every time Tesla attains a new efficiency threshold, it then proceeds to decrease prices which is why gross margins are actually trending down. See Lars Moravi's response to Tesla's VP of Engineering during the Q1 call when asked by an analyst about Tesla's approach to pricing. I think Vibov said it in his opening remarks, like our cost down efforts, we basically were offsetting the price cut. We're trying to give it back to the customers. As I was saying previously, free cash flow divided by operating margin indicates how much cash Tesla produces per unit of operating margins. If this metric goes up, it means that Tesla is getting more efficient, specifically at manufacturing. In the graph below, you can see how this metric exhibits a cyclical tendency with in line with my remarks of Tesla dropping prices periodically. In the last up cycle, however, this dynamic has gotten mixed up with higher rates and decreasing electric vehicle adoption. This is why I actually argue that if you look at the absolute magnitude of the increase in the metric, it's actually much bigger than the spike we saw in 2020, which then sent the stock up tenfold. And that is because the price of money is now actually much higher, exponentially higher, than it was when interest rates were near zero or at zero. And so the increase in manufacturing over the past year, I believe is underappreciated by the market and is explaining, actually explains why the energy business is doing so much better. And management now expects that business to grow faster 
than the auto business. Tesla has gotten way better at manufacturing, which is now going to exponentiate both the AI and energy businesses. I use the above metric, free cash flow divided by operating margin, to cut through the noise and ascertain whether Tesla's manufacturing and overall efficiency is going up or down. However, due to this quarter's anomalous free cash flow print due to the alleged disruptions, the metric is full of noise and cannot be properly used. We'll have to wait until the next quarter, during which management expects to return to positive free cash flow. While there is indeed the chance that Tesla cars are simply not desirable anymore, I believe that much of the pessimism surrounding the stock comes from layering a high price of money, much higher price of money in fact, and a consumer pullback in the electric vehicle space on top of the above poorly understood dynamic. Further, Tesla's next generation vehicles will be on the road by late this year or early 2025, according to Musk. And I believe that they will probably be quite desirable. Here's what Musk said about the launch of the new generation vehicles during the Q1 call. Updated our future vehicle lineup to accelerate the launch of new models ahead of previously mentioned start of production in the second half of, of 2025. So we expect it to be more like the early 2025, if not late this year. To conclude, if we do assume Tesla's car business will continue to prosper over time, which I do, the AI and energy business together with the relatively pessimistic price action presents a compelling opportunity at present, in my view, actually equivalent to the opportunity that I spotted in Amazon when it was down in the 80s. I don't see any other company that's even close to Tesla in this regard, in the whole AI and energy endeavor, and I see the company evolving into a winner-takes-all in the emerging autonomy space. So until next time, and thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, can I please ask you one favor? Can you please share this with one friend? These deep dives are for free, and the only way this grows is with your help. So thank you very much, and see you next time.